All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's HIT class on this really freezing Colorado day. I think I have it at two degrees right now. Um, but let's get started with our HIT class and get warmed up. All right, let's start swinging our arms in big circles, relaxing through your neck, tops of shoulders and, and chest. Let them go slowly, right? The purpose of this knot is to just swing your arms in circles, but to stretch and lengthen those right rotator muscles. Change directions, good. Languish in the stretch. Loosening up the joint, getting blood flow going. All right, slow it down, bring it to your sides. Let's do some big back strokes, nice and easy. All right, for today's workout, uh, I have my yoga ball and my dumbbell variety here. All right, and backstroke. Nicely done, okay. Last little circle there, then be mindful of your stance. All right, and then we're gonna hinge. So uh, hands on your shoulders or hands on your hips. Hinging, warming up the hamstrings and glutes. We've got some good stuff on tap in our workout today. We've done this format before and I really like it. So we started with the countdown to the power of 10. So 100 repetitions, 100 seconds, and then 10 reps of something that we really want to get better at doing. You know, I kind of said that. Something I want to get better at doing. All right, practice, 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 right? All right, so we're going to start off with 100. And we have 100 wall touches, 100 seconds of double squat, double thrust with dumbbells, and then 10 high plank frogs. Okay, you got it? I'm gonna go grab my water bottle before we get started. All right. So I don't have a wall to touch right here, but find one. All right, and we've got 100 of them. Ready, steady, hands up and go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten. One, two. 20, 30, 40, 50, use those calves, use those feet, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, all right, nicely done. Okay, now get a set of dumbbells. Double squat, double thrust. All right, you ready? All right, set of dumbbells. Woo, for 100 seconds, be mindful. All right, let's go. Double squat, 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 thrust, thrust, squat, squat. Sink, sink, press, press. Good. Keep your arms, elbows in, dumbbells on the rack. Sink. Sink, press, press. Good. Pulse and pulse. Make sure your heels stay down. Center gravity stays in your tailbone. Pulse, pulse. Good, we're at 60 seconds. 
Got 40 left. Math doers. One, two, sink. Wrap that transverse. Good. 20 seconds. Good work. 10 seconds. Thrust, squat, pulse, thrust, thrust, squat, and thrust. Woo. All right. Now, before we stop, we have 10 high plank frogs hops. All right. So, this is the thing we want to get better at today high plank frog hops. All right. So, find your good high plank. And we want to imagine that we're pulling our legs up toward our hands with our pelvic floor. Ready? Inhale, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, nicely done. Ooh, the end of those shoulders. All right now, next round, we have 90 boxing punches. Yes, we do. All right. So that's 22 and a half sets of four, right? All right. Because we'll count each one, right? Ready? Steady and go. Cross, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's forty four. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four. All right, that was ninety two, but I'll take it. All right, now we have ninety seconds of kneeling clean to press. Yes, shoulders. Got to get our outdoorsy people ready for, keep them trained for stand up paddleboard season. All right, so strong shoulders, gorilla pose. All right, I'm going to get my timer started. We got 90 seconds. All right, again, pulling from our pelvic floor out of this hip hinge, okay? Straight back, engage through your lats. Exhale, <clears throat> pull to the chest and press and down. So this, it's not a continuity. Exhale. Definitely using that exhale. Hinge, engage the low belly. Pull from the pelvic floor. Dumbbells come to chest without a hip thrust. And then zipping the ribs as you press overhead. So there is a sense of uh, force from the ground, uh, from your thrust, uh, good, from that hinge, uh, but control it. Good, 60 seconds down. Good work. You're almost there, folks. 15 seconds left. Good. And all the way down. Nicely done. 
That was our 90 seconds. All right. So now we have nine high plank frog hops. All right, ready? Step back into your high plank. Wrists under armpits. Exhale, one, two. Trying to get those feet up to the hands. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, nicely done. Woo. All right, now. Whew. Now we have 80 power lunges. So what's a power lunge? Whoopsie. We're gonna add a dumbbell. That's what makes us powerful. And it's our jump lunges, front to back, jumps, slowing down to go deeper or keep it quicker and less deep to drive your cardio. But with each jump, we can add a press, or we can just keep the dumbbell to our chest. All right, you ready? We have 80 of them. All right, so we'll count in twos and get to 40 and it won't feel so bad. All right, each step is a count. Ready? One, two, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20, one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20. Okay. Oh, that was just 40. We got 20, 40 more, ready? One, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 15, 17, 19, 20, one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 1920. Ooh, there's the heart rate. All right, now we have 80 seconds of starfish crunch. All right, so on our backs, contralaterally, right? We're getting down. We're going to roll up and touch that opposite toe. All right, for 80 seconds. Ready, steady, and go. And counts here doesn't matter, smooth matters. Smooth, rolling up with control. Exhale as you come up and back down. That free arm can press into the mat to help activate and support your lats. Good. Try not to pull from your shoulders, reach from your pinkies. Whew. That was 45 seconds. Good, you're at 60 seconds. Under 10 seconds, folks. And time. Woo. All right, good job. Okay, now we have eight high plank frag hops, and then we'll take a second to get a drink. All right, step out. Ready? One. Two, and pause long enough to find your good high plank. Stabilize your pelvis. Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, nicely done. All right, let's get a quick drink. Okay. Single dumbbell. 
We're gonna do a dumbbell, tap the knee thrust. All right. We have 70 of them. Dumbbells in by the ears into your chest. Ready, steady, tap and raise. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Six, eight, nine, sixty. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. All right, now, we have 70 seconds of alternating lunge to front raise. All right, so again, this is not fast. Dumbbell by the ears, reverse lunges, ready? Let's go. So lunge, front raise, lunge, front raise. Let me give you a side base view. Try to engage that glute on the back leg. This weight's moving away from your center of gravity as you rise. Stabilize your core. Good. I need to catch my breath, so I'm keeping the dumbbell into my chest as I lunge. Good. All right, here we go. 10 seconds and raise. Last one. All right, nicely done. All right, sevens. All right, ready? High plank. Drag hops, inhale and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, nicely done. All right now we're at 60s. And we'll do a 60 set for our core. So we're gonna be down in the ground. 60 bicycles. All right. So lay down on the ground, knees to the ceiling, feet on the ground. Palms at your ears, elbows in your peripheral. Float your head up off the ground, lace your fingers behind your head. Let the weight of your head fall to your chest and your lats. Exhale, float your legs up into chair and contralateral, let's go. One, knee to opposite elbow. Three, five, seven, nine, one, three, Five, seven, nine, one, three, five, seven, nine, one, three, five, seven, nine. That's forty. One, three, five, seven. 
nine, 50, one, three, five, seven, nine, 60. Oh, holy shnikes. All right, now we have our 60 seconds. We have a, oopsie. We have a minute of reverse plank. So wrists under armpits, dig those heels into the ground. We wanna press up into this perfect reverse plank. You ready? Oopsie, let's go. Wrists under armpits, heels into the ground. As heels are pressing, wiggle your toes. Hamstrings are supporting, glutes are supporting, lats are supporting. Breathe deeply into your transverse. Clear your mind, release your brow. Good, keeping it simple. You're more than halfway there. Long inhales and exhales. All right, good job. You are at 10 seconds. You can do it. Strong and powerful. Three, two, and one. All right, nicely done. Oh, all right. Whew. Now we're under a minute for those. All right, six high plank frog hops. Find your good alignment. Exhale and go. One. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, nicely done. All right, 50s, 50s, yoga ball froggies. Yay. All right, roll yourself out. Wrists under armpits, knees are wide. Ready? Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five. Let's go hamstrings. Seven, eight, nine, twenty, two, three, four. Five, so your heels are going straight up to the ceiling. Seven, eight, nine, 30, 20 more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 50. Whew. All right, now we have 50 seconds of yoga ball knee tucks. All right, so I'm gonna set the timer and we're gonna roll out, right? So our knees and shins are on the ball. Now this is 50 seconds of practice work, repetitions, whatever. All right, walk yourself out. Right, find a good spot on the ball. Dang it. Sorry, I need to roll out again. Sorry, and <laughs> All right, there we go. Nice and in balance. All right, ready, go. Pull. Pelvis goes up. Pulling your hips up from your pelvic floor and your lats. Good, 20 more seconds. Uh, 
and time. Oh, holy moly. That was a lot of practice. I'm not sure I needed that much practice. I don't know about you guys. All right, five high plank frog hops. Ready, steady. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, get some water. We're on to fours. All right, 40s. Get on your back end boat. We have 40 Russian twists. All right, you can add a dumbbell for a little bit of twisty weight. All right, you floating your legs up off the ground is optional. All right, ready, Russian twist. Relax in your toes, heels down, legs held in parallel. Inhale and go. One, three, five, seven, Nine, one, three, five, seven, nine, and one, three, five, seven, nine, and one, three, five, seven, nine, ten. Okay, now grab that yoga ball again, and you'll want two dumbbells. We're gonna do reverse fly on the yoga ball. All right, so not too heavy. And positioning is really important here because you're gonna hold your feet on the ground. You wanna try and hold neutral with the muscles on your back, right? But you're really using just the muscles on your back, right? You, your hips are on their own on the ball. All right, so if you've not done this before, try lighter weight. All right, we got 40 seconds. Ready? Let's go. One, two, good. That's 10 seconds. Exhale. Nice and slow. 20 seconds. Pull from the elbows. Three, five. 10 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, nicely done. All right, four high plank frog hops. All right, high plank, wrist under armpit, step back one at a time, ready? And go, one, two, Three and four. Good. All right, thirties, mountain climbers. Okay. All right, so we're back to our high planks. Good, using that breath. All right, wrists under armpits. Step back. Inhale and exhale. Ready on me? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, nice job. All right, now we have thirty seconds whew, of air sit bicep curl. All right, like a wall sit, but no wall. And we're gonna do hammer curls. All right, so find your dumbbells. Do not get in your knees. Ready? Let's go, sit down, curl. Find your neutral. Make sure your belly button is in, your center of gravity is in your butt. 
but your pelvis isn't flaring. Sink a little deeper, three, two, and one. And press up, good work. All right, three, frog hops, high plank. Ready, wrist under armpits, one, two, and three. All right, nicely done. Okay, twos. All right, back to our friendly yoga ball. Now we're gonna do 20 chest flies, okay? All right, find your yoga ball, roll yourself out, dumbbells to your chest, head and shoulder blades supported, pelvis supported by your legs, heels in. All right, press those dumbbells up, round your elbows and open. Two, focus on the chest and the biceps. Four, five, imagine they're hinge, opening and closing. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, 10 more. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, nicely done. Lower them to your chest. Walk backwards, rounding up as you go. All right, nicely done. All right, now. I forgot a chair. We have tricep dips, so I'm going to get my chair for my dips. I know. Jen, why don't you try him on the yoga ball? Because Jen doesn't want to fall on her face <laughs> from a yoga ball tricep dip. All right, you ready? Let's go for our tricep dips. Ready, steady, let's go. Just for 20 seconds, keep it clean. Press all the way up, squeeze, down and up, pause at the top. Keep that belly button in. Three, two, and one. All right, nicely done. Okay, now we do have two high plank frogs, but in between each, we're gonna take an eccentric push up. All right, so hop, start in high plank, hop in and hop out, eccentric push up, hop in and hop out, eccentric push up. You ready? All right, high plank, frog hop. Here I am, eccentric push up. Exhale all the way up. Frog hop, back, eccentric push up. Press off the ground. Whew. Nice job. Okay, now, wow, Jen, what were you thinking? It's gonna be great. <laughs> we have side plank stars. So we can do this on the elbow or in high plank, whichever you like, all right? We're just gonna see how well Jen does right now. Jen's gonna start in high plank. So, all right, step back. I'm gonna rotate into the side, extend left hand to the ceiling. All right, ready? Right leg gets heavy, left leg floats. Two, three, four, and five. All right, stabilize and roll over to the other side. All right, right hand to the ceiling. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. And rotate back to center. All right, nicely done. Okay, now we're on our knees. This is gonna go so fast, it's not even funny. Surrender squats. All right, so make sure you alternate legs. Ready? Hands at your ears, let's go. Heel and down and switch. 
Drive to the heel, up and down. Last side, up and down. Excellent. All right, that was it, just two on each leg. All right, now, high plank, frog hop, eccentric push-up. All right, ready? Step them back, beautiful plank. Exhale, frog hop, back, lower yourself with control, press yourself up off the ground. All right, hey, nice job. Woo! All right, since I'm here, it's child's pose for me to start. Woo, melting down. Reaching for that opposite wall. Trying to relax from my neck and tops to shoulders. Feeling that stretch beneath and above my shoulder blades. All right, and I'm gonna walk my fingers over to the left corner, feeling that stretch on the right side. Opening up my rib cage. Good, and walking over to the right side, feeling my left side open up. All right, and coming into nice little V in my legs, hinging forward, releasing through my hamstrings and low back. Just thinking about softening and relaxing. Not straining against my muscles, just melting into them. They'll kind of naturally find their own end range. I'm not lurching and trying to drive into my, you know, my end range. I'm just allowing themselves to lengthen and I'm trying to not grip as I soften with my exhales. All right, let's come into tabletop one last time in this position and let's go into pigeon. So sliding that right leg forward, right ankle to left hand opening up your hips and then melting your torso down to the ground, relaxing that left leg. I know that kneecap wants to clench. So make it go soft and easy. Let's switch legs. So left leg is forward, right leg is back, left hand over by, or left ankle over by right hand, opening up my left hip melting my torso to the ground, giving that left hip and the deep muscles permission to soften. All right, pull your legs back together under your knees or sit back on your haunches and feel good about the work you just did today in uh, 35, 40 minutes, great job. Have a good weekend, stay warm, and we'll see everyone on Monday. Bye.